What's good guys, it's your boy Yimbi who's back in this video. I'm pretty sure everyone wants an iPad, but it's a little bit over the budget. Just a little. Have you ever wanted to be one of those kids with an iPad who just like walk around as if they have life figured out? Where well, you can never be. If you don't have an iPad and you don't take digital notes, you will forever be a failure and a disappointment to your family. But there's a solution. You can purchase a graphic tablet for 1 20th of the price of an iPad. It's just like an iPad but without a screen. It allows you to transfer keystrokes from the tablet to your computer, mimicking writing with an iPad. There's so many different graphic tablets on the market that you can use, but I have the Gaumon S620 that I got for $50 on Amazon. It comes with the tablet itself, a pen, a pen pouch, pen nib refills, and a glove that I seem to have lost. It feels exactly like writing on paper and that makes the experience so much better. It has an inbuilt pressure sensor if you want to thicken the lines by pressing harder on the tablet. As a computer science student, I wanted to completely switch from paper to digital and this tablet really helped with that. If I have an assignment due, I can do it digitally and submit it just like that or I can print it out if it needs to be submitted physically. My go-to app for note-taking is Microsoft OneNote. It's the best note-taking app I've seen and it's directly compatible with the tablet. You can add lines, change line width, line color, add shapes, it even has a write to text feature so you can transcribe what you've written into actual text. You can add photos into the document and draw or write on top of the photos. OneNote syncs with your Microsoft account so you can check your documents whether you're on your PC or on your phone. After I got this life as a student it became so much easier and now I actually feel like a serious student. Maybe I'm not such a disappointment after all. I'll make a tutorial in my next video on how to use Microsoft OneNote for note taking and actually tell you guys the best note taking method. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like, turn on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 600 or I think we should be by now hopefully if you look down there. And for this I can't thank you guys enough. My goal for this year is to reach 1k so hopefully we can do that. Yeah and I guess I'll see you guys next time. I take computer science so I have a mental breakdown due in 5 minutes. So, peace out.